Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is lesson 41 and in this uh, example we will uh, simulate uh, the strip uh, footing near a slope using uh, Plax's uh, 3D software. So in uh, this tutorial we intend to examine the effect of a uh, strip uh, footing near the crest of the slope and uh, we will investigate how this uh, footing uh, affected the stability and the factor of safety of the slope using Plax's uh, 3D. The geometry of uh, the slope will be a uh, slight different from uh, two previous examples. The slope will be two uh, horizontal and one vertical. We will have uh, a more gentle uh, slope, not like uh, previous example, uh, which was a steep slope, one horizontal to one vertical. Also, uh, the water table will be uh, located uh, at uh, seven meter from uh, the bottom of the uh, boundary condition, and. Uh, also, we will have a strip uh, footing which is uh, three meters away from uh, the crest of the slope, and we will up, we will uh, load uh, this strip uh, footing by 200 kilonewton per uh, square meters. I click on calculate, and we will wait until uh, the calculation is uh, finished. After uh, that, we can uh, understand how. Uh, the foundation or steep footing near the slope affected the factor of safety of uh, this slope.
Okay, as you can see, the calculation is finished. We uh, save the project again. And if we click on the factor of safety after the initial phase, we uh, click on edit phase. We can see uh, the factor of safety is about 2.7, which is 2.68. If you click uh, factor of safety after construction of foundation and loading the foundation near the slope, we click on here. And we can see uh, the factor of safety is decreased because uh, there is a surcharge load near the crest or the foundation and uh, uh, it causes uh, the decrease in uh, shear uh, strength of the soil. So the factor of safety is decreased because uh, the soil will uh, get failed uh, more easily. So we click on OK and we can also uh, click on view calculation uh, results in here. So as we can see this uh, deform shape, we click on mesh, click on material, we can see this a uh, deformed uh, shape of uh, the slope uh, at initial phase also this a uh, deformed shape of uh, the slope at uh, footing plus uh, loading so uh, to see the failure mechanism of the slope at uh, each uh, uh, stage for example we click on factor of safety before uh, construction of the foundation we click on deformation and uh, click on incremental displacement and uh, click on here we can see this is a failure mechanism of uh, the slope before construction of the foundation so if we uh, click on uh, factor of safety after construction of foundation we can see the failure mechanism is uh, different uh, as you can see in here if we click on uh, displacement vectors we can see how how is the direction of uh, displacement uh, vectors it's uh, like that also if we uh, click on deformation incremental uh, strain we can see this is uh, the failure uh, surface of the slope before construction of foundation. After construction of foundation, we can see the failure uh, surface is uh, different. Okay, uh, this was uh, for uh, this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we will investigate the effect of a rectangular foundation near the slope crest. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.